McCaffrey, GB News's political editor. Darren. Hello, Nigel. Quite an incredible day, isn't it? I mean, I don't remember a day in politics like this, and we've had some pretty tumultuous days over the last six, seven years. Right now, I think I'm going to sense that some of the cabinet ministers who've been in talking to Boris Johnson may well be leaving. There are cars uh, lining up here in Downing Street. Kit Malthus, policing minister, very, very loyal to Boris Johnson recently, has just left the cabinet office, refusing to comment apart from saying it's been a very difficult day. But what we've seen today is a whole series of cabinet ministers traipse into number 10. We believe they've all spoken to the prime minister individually rather than as a collective. Some of them, most of them, it appears, telling the Prime Minister, frankly, the game is up, you need to go. Not least of all, because, as you've rightly pointed out, all those resignations have got to a point where it's getting difficult for the government to actually function. There simply will not be enough Conservative MPs to fill those roles rather extraordinarily. And yet we believe, you can see some of the cars now pulling up, uh, as I say, outside Down Street. It'll get to the point where we believe Boris Johnson, though, is still refusing to budge and where he is suggesting he may well want to still put this to a vote amongst uh, the Tory uh, parliamentary party, even though that looks frankly like he will lose. And the reason I say that, Graham Brady's also gone in quite recently, uh, I think, to give what he called wise counsel, i.e., that it's clear today, given the numerous, very public letters of no confidence in Boris Johnson, that he does not retain the support of the Conservative Parliamentary Party. So is this, Darren, is this the 1990 moment? Is this like the moment when Thatcher went, when the Cabinet said they could no longer support her? Does this happen tonight, in your view? You know what, I, I would say... More likely than not, yes, and that's something I thought pretty much since the start of today, given the sheer momentum we've seen behind it. In saying that, we are dealing with Boris Johnson, and he is someone... I mean, if this was almost any other leader, they would have already gone by now. Is there a possibility he may well try and extend this out a little bit longer, even though it will, frankly, be quite humiliating? That is also entirely possible. Interestingly, of course, the 1922 committee decided not to change the rules uh, tonight in terms of the leadership vote, because I think they thought, well, in the end, he's going to be gone. It's not going uh, to matter. The next couple of hours will essentially decide things, Given that you've got potentially even Nadine Zahari and Michelle Dolan, two people who were appointed as Chancellor and Education Secretary by Boris Johnson less than 24 hours ago, and they are inside saying the game is up. I mean, how do you get through that? Maybe he'll try. <laughs> Maybe he does want to be literally dragged out kicking and screaming. I mean, this is... I mean, I, the only parallel I can think is those rows over Gordon Brown after the election uh, when those around him were telling time is up. But yeah. you know, I think it will get to the point, as I say, where ministers are saying, cabinet ministers are saying, you know what, Prime Minister, this is not about you. This is about the fact that the government, at a time of economic crisis and at a time of a war in Europe, will not be able to function if you remain in charge.